Hi guys, Chris here, and we're having breakfast for, no, we're having McDonald's for breakfast. Oh my gosh, I think I need to go back to sleep already. I dropped the kids off at school, got them all ready, packed up their lunches, and I'm already tired this morning. So, I'm sorry, we're having McDonald's for breakfast. They have three new items. They have the apple fritters, they have the blueberry muffins, and they have the warm, ooey, gooey cinnamon rolls. Except for my McDonald's didn't have the blueberries. They only had the apple fritters and the cinnamon roll. So that's what I'm trying out today. I love apple fritters. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm there. I got to try it out. Uh, the apple fritters, $2.29. Not warm. I was expecting it to be warm. And then the cinnamon rolls, I'll put in the description. I think those are $2.99. I could be wrong. Um, but I'll put it in the description. The whole total came to $5.71, including tax. So, um, but there's the apple fritter. I'm going to try that first. I kind of wish it was warm, um, especially for $2.29. I'm not going to lie. To me, that was kind of when I drove up and I saw it was $2.29, I was like, mmm, that's kind of expensive for apple fritter. But if it's good, then there won't be any complaints from me. Um, just because I know with apple fritters, you can buy them like a four pack for like $4 or something like that at the store. That's what it looks like already. It looks like a, an apple fritter. Uh, I don't see any apple bits in there for it to be apple fritters. I would think I would have seen the chunks of apples in there, um, but I don't see any of them. Oh, maybe there's, no. Hmm, I don't see any apple for, or apples. And it is, yeah, it says apple fritter on the bag right there. All right, well, I'm just gonna go in. I'll just try it. Let's just break it apart. Maybe they're inside. My light there. Mm. No, I mean, it looks like a fritter, but I would have liked to see the apple trunks in there. Okay, well, let's just try it. Mm. Right off the bat, you get that sweet glaze that's on an apple fritter. You get that cinnamon. You can tell I'm getting old by things are <laughs> further away from my face. No. Mmm. There's a little apple in there. Mmm. This is good. It tastes like any other apple fritters. There's nothing different about them. So, like, if you were going to just buy them at Fry's or Walmart, they're good. I just wish they were warm. So, I'm going to have to pop this in the microwave for a couple seconds and get it more, like, ooey gooey, like it should be, I think. Mm. Yeah, even that aftertaste of the apple fritters that you would get. I don't know what that aftertaste is. I don't know if it's like the the butter or the, the oil, but you get the aftertaste. Just like you normally would. Mm. It's good. I'll eat it. I'll finish it. No, no questions there. It is. It's sticky from that, that glaze. Mm. It's good. I just wish there was a little bit more apple chunks in there. Okay. My son would absolutely love this. He loves cinnamon rolls. He can eat cinnamon rolls every single day if he could. Since they're back in school, I try to give them a little bit more of a substance breakfast to be a good mom. Oh yeah, it's warm. I'm trying to get it out. Look at all that. Oh, look at all that icing and cinnamon in there. Oh my gosh. It's a pretty good size. I like it. I like the size of it. It looks good. It looks like, hmm, it's not like a lot of cinnamon like you would get from Cinnabon. You know, I mean, you can't compete, you know, with Cinnabon. I love those. Question for you all. How do you eat your cinnamon rolls? Do you, you know, go like this or you just take a knife and fork? I did get a knife and fork, but I'm just going to, 
I'm just going to eat it the right way, if there is a right way. So that's how, because this is the best part, right? Oh, I can't wait to get to that part. I'm going to just break it off. Oh, already making a mess. Okay, I'm going to get in. Mmm. Mm. it's really good the icing is not too sweet and sometimes you with the icing it can get a little too sweet but it's like a cream cheese based icing which i absolutely love mm. this is good it's not as hot or warm as i would expected but look at my fingers it's all like it's messy to eat like I'm getting icing all over the place. Mm, but you know that's when it's good, right? When it's messy. Mm -mm -mm. The outside is kind of tough. This part I can tell is not as tough, of course, you know, because it's closer to the middle. Mm, mm, mm. I'll pop this in the microwave for a couple more seconds too. Mm. It's so good, guys. Mm. This is better than the apple fritter. Look at my fingers. Mm. If you're going to try one, try the cinnamon roll. It's really good. Now, McDonald's is starting on November 4th. You can try a free one if you buy one of their like coffees. You'll get a free fritter or cinnamon roll or blueberry muffin i'm not a coffee drinker so i was like oh i'm not gonna wait for a free one normally i would have but i wouldn't have gotten it free anyway mm, i guess i could have just bought a coffee and then got a free one now i'm thinking <gasps> the sugar is waking me up oh this is good okay out of the two i like the cinnamon roll the best apple fritter I won't get again because I can buy those in the store and they taste exactly the same. Mm. I am licking my fingers. I am. Mm. It's so good. Mm. If I had to say anything bad about the cinnamon roll, I wish there was more cinnamon. Like, I love the cinnamon part of it. So, the icing is great. I love the cream cheese based icing. The apple fritter, like I was saying before, I won't get again because I can buy those in the grocery store. It tastes exactly like the grocery store and for $2.29, no. So overall, I'll give the apple fritter an eight, even though I love them. It's the price that's killing me on that or giving it the low grade. The cinnamon roll, I'm going to give a, a nine. The price isn't, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not that good either. I wish it was more of like $1.99. More cinnamon. So I give it a 9. It's good. I'm going to go pop these back in the microwave. And I'm going to try them nice and warm. Get them nice and warm and gooey. And then I will catch you all later. Bye. Have a good day.